Today, we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at all the components in our wildly popular RPS 200 and 400 kits. I say 200 and 400 because these kits are virtually identical, the only exception being the 400 will include two more panels in the kit here, and the mount kit will be larger to accommodate those additional panels. For all of these boxes, it's okay to use a blade to open them, just ensure you don't cut too deep. In the first box, you'll find everything you need, minus the tools, to set up the pump and the controller. The first item you'll find is our in-depth installation manual. This 41-page full-color manual will guide you through the entire installation process. Next, we have our sensor splice kit for your tank full slash low well sensors. You'll find two packages, including 100 feet of pre-wired tank full well low sensors. The next thing you'll find is your 20-foot long solar wire. These are pre-wired with male and female MC4 connectors and will connect your panels to your controller. Inside this black plastic package, you'll find a replacement helical rotor and Allen key. Set this aside somewhere safe in case you ever need to replace the one inside your pump. The next package you'll find contains your grounding lug to ground your controller and four self-tapping bolts. Next, you'll find another splice kit. This one is larger and is for the pump wires themselves. Next, you'll find your plumbing bag. This is a small bag that contains your stainless steel hose barb and two stainless steel hose clamps for your plumbing. After that, is the focus of the entire package. Securely wrapped in inflatable safety packaging is your RPS submersible well pump. You'll find that we have gone ahead and pre-crimped the wires coming off of this for you. Inside of this box, you'll find a smaller box. This box contains your RPS solar pump controller. This is the brains of your solar well. Out of the bottom of the controller, you'll find two MC4 connectors that connect to your solar panels, as well as protected sheaths for your input wires. Those will be the wires that come from your pump into your controller. Next, we'll unbox your 100 watt solar panels from Back 40 Solar. Again, this box is okay to open with a knife. If you purchase an RPS 200, you'll have one box containing two solar panels. If you purchase a 400, you will have two boxes, each containing two solar panels for a total of four solar panels. Attached to the back of each of your solar panels is your MC4 connectors. Those will attach to your solar wire and then go to the controller. If you enjoy solar powered content just like this, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share with a friend and ring that notification bell.